day one. I don't know where the hell my family is. They have my swords and my boots. I'm still doing my Kirito cosplay. Um, so telling people, I don't think I can actually shoot them. And I'm at the convention center, which is right next to the hotel. The hotel doesn't seem to have anything. I have my playbook over here, so I'm kind of looking around. The hotel actually has the game stuff, video game console tournaments and all that stuff. But I don't think it's open until later tonight and then the rest of the weekend. So it's still day one, hot as ass in this Kirito cosplay, mainly because the jacket does not breathe. It's like a plastic leather. And I'm on the third floor of the convention center. And the cosplay gathering is outside. But some people are inside too. Okay, I'm back in my hotel now. First day. 6 p.m. which means I was out there for like five hours I think I don't know but my legs were killing me and I was getting a pretty big headache from all the noise and then I hadn't eaten since like 9 in the morning so I came home grabbed some subway uh, turkey bacon avocado sub or whatever and they said no outside food and drinks but I still got brought my water and my Gatorade put it in my bag I don't care I already drank a liter of water between today and yesterday, so well, I probably drank just about this much yesterday and uh, the rest today. I haven't drank any Gatorade yet, but it's pretty crazy over there, man. It's cool, but it, I didn't have anybody here. My family was supposed to be here. I don't know where the hell they are, so I didn't have my swords. I didn't have my boots, but um, so I was just kind of... I was trying to talk to some people here and there. <clears throat> the whole... Well, the Sheraton, which was the hotel, it's where you register. <clears throat> they had like some video game type stuff, but that stuff didn't really open until later on. Then they also had a viewing room where you can watch some anime movies or TV shows. And they had a whole schedule so you can see what was going on. And then in the convention center, which, which was right next door, right across the street, they had the whole ground floor was just this huge area where you can buy stuff. It was like, um... They had, you know, the Takimakura, the pillowcases, they had a bunch of shirts. I bought, well first I bought just a SAC Anime t-shirt because this is the event, the SAC Anime, Sacramento Anime, SAC Anime. Got a large so I can have a little more room. Sometimes I like medium, sometimes I like larges, whatever. And then they had this Pikachu shirt about getting a sword art online shirt but I wasn't sure and then I got this attack on Titan shirt some of the shirts seem a little bit cheap I don't know even though they were charging quite a bit $25 for these shirts or 45 for two but then the sack anime shirts were only about 10 bucks so the whole ground floor was just all that stuff plus the um signings and questions and stuff for a bunch of the guests that were there then the, well it was technically the third floor because there wasn't really a second floor that you had access to. I don't know, it was kind of weird. There was a second floor somehow. I have no idea how you get into the second floor even with this map that they give us. But the third floor had all the cosplay gatherings. They put, they put all the cosplay people outside on the terrace for some reason. So I was just sweating balls like within an hour because I had that overcoat for my Kirito cosplay which is just like plastic leather. It's like pleather. So I was like, oh my god, and, but you know, there's a lot of people cosplaying inside, right through the doors, and then there was a bunch of different rooms lined up down the hall on both sides, which had different things. There was like a, a cosplay chess, nobody was really into that. You just play chess, or two people play chess, and people that were the pieces were actually the cosplayers, and then they can kind of battle or something. And then they had tabletop games, which I'm not into, I don't know anything about, so I didn't check it out really. And they have a cafe, it's called Cafe Hoshi. And I didn't really go in there because I wasn't really that hungry at that time. And then I just wanted to get something at the Starbucks downstairs, but then everybody decided, oh, I'm gonna go and get something too, and so it was just packed. And I was like, F this, I'm going across the street to Subway. Subway had a line outside the door, so I went less than a mile, down the street to another subway and that had like no customers customers at all so I was like hey get some get some subway here and uh, what else was there I don't know there's just a bunch of stuff man it was really really cool to see all those different people I just wish I had some people here they're supposed to be here I have no idea what they are but yeah I might go out later on tonight because they have some stuff 
for late night. I think they even have a swap meet, and I saw some people saying that they want to sell some old video game stuff. So I might go back and buy some old video game stuff. I think it said it was like 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. or something like that. And a couple people came up to me and asked if they can take my picture, and I was like, sure, I guess, you know, whatevs. But my sash type thingy started coming apart. This connects all the pieces around me, but then the Velcro started coming off, which kind of sucked. So if you see my picture out there somewhere, try and tag me on Facebook. You know, my Facebook page is HXC Hector Madrigal. I always leave, leave links in the description, so you can check that out. So that's it for now. Maybe I'll give you a, another update later on if I go back and check out the swap.